Hi, I'm Jennifer Bourne of jenniferbourne.com, and I'm glad that you're here because today we are talking about how to empower clients to give helpful design feedback. Design revisions are the thing that was the original catalyst for me discovering WordPress. Frustrations with revisions on client projects had me searching the internet for something that would allow clients to make their own revisions to content and manage their own revisions uh, to their website. And that's how I found WordPress and how I built, really the start of how I built my agency uh, around building WordPress websites and providing WordPress consulting, co-organizing the Sacramento WordPress Meetup and WordCamp Sacramento and getting more heavily involved in the WordPress community. For a designer, a graphic designer, a web designer, a web developer, revisions are often the worst part of a design process. No matter how good the strategy is that you develop, no matter how much work you put into those design revisions, no matter how good a concept is, your client is always, always going to have opinions. They might not agree with your design decisions. They might not like the work that you did. They may question your choices and want to make changes that you don't agree with. And as your paying client, they have that right. The trick is making sure that the client understands why each design decision was made and teaching them how to provide useful feedback. Now, your client isn't a designer. They didn't go to design school. They don't have a degree in graphic design. They haven't been working as a designer for years. They don't build websites for a living. This might even be the first website they've ever worked on. And they most definitely are not trained to give useful critiques of design work. This is why designers receive unclear, unhelpful feedback. Feedback like, can you make the logo bigger? I don't like this blue. Can you make everything bigger? Can you make it pop? I want there to be movement. There's not enough energy. Revisions are a normal part of the design process. But when you proactively manage the revision process, helping the client learn how to provide good design feedback, you can reduce the number of revisions and you can protect your profit margin better. The easiest way to do this is to provide prompts to your clients that direct them on how to give great feedback, that lead them through the process to say, these are the things that we want you to look at. These are the things that we want you to, to tell us. This is what we want to know. Now, before I present initial design concepts to a client and explain the strategy behind each design decision, I send them an email to prep them and prepare for the revision process. This email gives them permission to be open and honest about what they are thinking and feeling about the design concepts as I present it to them and they review them on their own, right? It gives them the information on how to explain their thoughts and feelings effectively. So below, I have a sample email for you. It's part of Profitable Project Plan, my business training course for designers and developers. It's the email that I use in my business to help prepare my clients for the, the revision process during design. It lets the clients know that my goal is to ensure that we create a site that is a perfect representation of their brilliance and professionalism and a memorable, impressive resource for their audience. I let them know that I want them to love it, but as much as I want them to love the site, I care more that their audience, their clients and customers love the site even more. I also let them know that I need them to be really open and honest with their feedback and to be nice about it, right? It's okay. Tell us if you love it. I love that. Tell me if you hate it. It's okay if you don't like it. You just have to be nice about it, right? Uh, I ask them to share what they like and what they don't like and ask them to be specific because the more specific they are, the better things will go. I ask them to share any ideas or suggestions that they might have. If there are examples of what they're talking about, to show those if they can. And to let us know how these concepts or the elements in the concepts make them feel. 
right? Sometimes it's easier to ask, how does this make you feel? What is your gut reaction here? Now, if you don't have an email like this in your design process, it's probably time that you add one. Like I said before, clients aren't trained to be a designer. They haven't been trained on how to give design critiques or good, helpful, useful feedback. And that now is your job. And now that they've, once they've hired you, right? It's your job as the designer to help them have a great experience. And part of that great experience is moving through the design process and the revision process and collaborating. The revision part of design is where you're collaborating with the client the most, going back and forth and exchanging ideas and making little tweaks and making little changes. And you want the client to feel confident and comfortable and empowered to speak up. That way, at the end, they end up with a site that is exactly what they want, and you end up with a client who is super happy and is ready to give you a fantastic testimonial. So read through this sample email, check it out, go ahead, grab it and plug it into your business. And if you like templates and resources like this, if you love done for you email scripts, templates, tools, resources, eBooks, and you wanna skip all the years of trial and error that I went through to accelerate your own success, check out Profitable Project Plan. It's a business training course for designers and developers that I think you might love. Profitable Project Plan provides everything you need to communicate with, educate, and manage your clients throughout the entire process of you working together. What's even better is you're basically getting my business in a box. So every single thing I've created and used in my own business, I'm giving to you in this program, and I'm showing you why it was created, how it's used, how to leverage it, and how to put it into your own business. So check it out at jenniferborn.com. Thanks so much for being here again. If you love this video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any in the future. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.